My name is Tony Fox and this is Tony Fox Builds and today I'm excited because well I finally got back to uh, filming which has not been done in a while and I well am not happy about that but today I'm building a power rack out of wood. It's gonna go right over here. It's the best spot in the basement if you haven't noticed already this is my basement. And I've got an okay height here. It's, it's still enough for me to have on 45s and have the top of the rack going, but that's still kind of scary about this part. Um, ooh, that's warm. I've got a bunch of wood that I got in a coal pack, which was really cheap. It was only like 80 bucks for the whole thing. And I'll show a little clip of that right now. I mean, this is exactly what I was talking about. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. I think I'm just going to get this. See, it's a pretty good pack, right? 80 bucks for that whole thing. Some of those two by 12s, they're like 20 something bucks a piece. And I've got 13. If I do a three, this is a one. Carry the nine. And then subtract by pi. Seven. What were we talking about? Hold on, Hold, where's my notes? All right, anyways, so the whole point is I need to build a power rack and those are usually like four by four square. And then with this being like 80, I'll, I'll say it's 80 inches. That's, that's an okay size. I've got plenty of room uh, as soon as I clear junk out of here. A little better, but still messy. So I'm gonna go get the wood, let's start cutting, and we'll see if I can get this done in really short amount of time. Go. So I can't decide where I wanna put the holes for this. And I wanna drill them now before I get it all up because I don't want to put this through two two by sixes that and it's raining outside and I do not want to pull out the the actual bench. I have an adjustable metal bench that I just bought today off a uh, offer up and it's under a tarp. So it's OK to sit out all night or whatever. It doesn't matter. But I don't want to get it out now because, well, it is raining and there is ice and it is cold. So now that I have the basic shape, 
as you can see, it's the next day. But let's get this dumb thing out of my face. Stupid clothesline. So now that I have the basic shape of the power rack, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the bench to kind of see what uh, heights I'm working with to know where to put the holes for the safety bar and also the, what would you even call that? I don't know what it's called. It's the part where you, you hold the bar. Anyways, so I'll, I'll be making that. I got some uh, three quarter inch uh, steel pipe. I'm gonna weld up some brackets so that it kind of clips on. And then as well, uh, using the three quarter pipe for the safety bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in and uh, let's go on outside. It's still snowing, so it's not the best or ideal time right now. It's cold and my feet are already cold. I have two pairs of socks on and they're still, the toes are frozen. But, let's go ahead and get that out. Unfortunately, that's where we're gonna end the video today. Thank you so much for joining me on this. On the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into some metal work. We're gonna get into some welding. We're gonna have sparks fly and metal melting. And we're gonna find out where I wanna put the holes on the frame so that it's the minimum amount of drilling as possible, but I get the full workout that a power rack is capable of. The finish is gonna be a nice one. I haven't even done it yet, so I haven't even seen it myself. If you know anything about my woodworking, you know exactly what I'm gonna be doing with it, and I just can't wait. It's gonna be so nice. Please don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I think it's backwards. I don't know where I am. I hope to see you again. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.